Welcome. In this session, we are going to discuss about one of the simple coding example from lead code. Find peak element from given array of inputs. What is peak element? As per the problem statement, a peak element is an element that is strictly greater than its neighbors. For example, here is an input array. 3 is a peak element here because it is greater than its neighbors. 2 and 1 are its neighbors. Similarly, here is another input array. As per the problem statement, the array can have multiple peak elements. You can return any one of them. In this case, 2 is a peak number and 6 is another peak number. Peak elements also can be at the edges. I mean, it can be at the beginning or ending of the array. In those cases, it will have only one neighbor, not two neighbors. It will have only one neighbor. As per the problem statement, you should return the index of the peak element, not the element itself. Now, let's understand the logic. Let's assume that this is an input array. In general, the simplest approach is iterate over the given input array at least once and compare each element with its neighbor to identify peak element. The time complexity in this approach is big O of n, but this is not the expected solution for this problem during the interview. They expect a solution with time complexity as big O of log n. Now let's discuss another approach. Rather going with linear scan over the array, what if we randomly choose an element? Let's say we have chosen 25. There could be two cases. In first case, the random element itself a peak element. So in such cases, we can stop searching and return its index. In our case, 25 also a peak element. It is greater than its neighbors. In this case, we can simply return its index. The second case is, what if it is not a peak element? Let's say we have randomly chosen 30 which is not a peak element. In this case, we can assume that either its right element or its left element must be greater than its value. We will try to move towards higher value neighbor side because there are higher chances to find peak element. In this process, if we reach any of the edges, the edge itself can be a peak element. For example, we have chosen 30, its neighbors are 50 and 10. In this case, its left side neighbor has greater value than its value. 50 is greater than 30. So it is good to move towards left side to find peak element. If we take one step towards the left here, 50 is a peak element and this is also an edge element, edge scenario. This kind of approach does not require to read all elements in the given input array. Now, rather picking random element and how to move either left or right to scan peak element, we can prefer binary search kind of approach. We will take an example input and apply binary search on it. This is our input array and these are array elements and this represents index of the array. As a first step, calculate mid element. How to calculate mid element? Mid equal to start plus end by 2. Here the start is index 0, let's mark it, and the end is index 10. So the mid became index 5, which is element 8. Does the mid element 8 is a peak element? No, it is not. So we need to move either right or left. First, we will start with comparing with its left neighbor. 30 is greater than 8. So we will continue searching peak elements on its left side. In case, let's assume that the left neighbor is smaller than its value. Then we will compare its value with its right neighbor. If its right neighbor is greater than the mid value, then we will continue searching on the right side. In our case, we have to search on the left side. We need to readjust our pointer values for the next iteration. 
So how to adjust? It is simple. Remember that if you are moving to left, then you need to keep your start position constant and move your end point to mid minus 1. So here, so mid is here, mid minus 1 will be this position. In case if you are moving right, then keep your end position constant and move your starting position to mid plus 1. So mid plus 1 is this position here. In our case, we are moving left. So the start pointer will be at index 0. End pointer will be mid minus 1, which is at index 4. The mid pointer will be 0 plus 4 by 2, which is 2, index 2. The element is 20. Is it peak element? No, it is not a peak element. So again, we will check with its left neighbor. 30 is greater than 20. So we have to search on left hand side. Start pointer is at index 0. End pointer is mid minus 1. 2 minus 1 equal to index 1. So this is our end. And the mid index is 0 plus 1 by 2 which is 0. So mid index is 0. So it will be here. The element is 50. Is it peak element? Yes, it is peak element. In this case, just return its index. The index is 0. So this is the logic. If you notice, we have not scanned the entire array. We just scanned few elements. Now let's write code. I have already created a static function called find peak element. It takes an integer array as an input and returns an integer as an output. By default, it returns null value. Now let's validate the input. If input array double equal to null or input array dot length double equal to zero, then simply return null. Find the length of the array int length equal to input array dot length. Declare the starting position of the pointer int start equal to 0. Declare the ending position or pointer int n equal to length minus 1. We will use while loop here. We will break the while loop only if any time the start and end pointers crosses each other. While start less than or equal to n. Now let's calculate midpoint int mid equal to start plus n by 2. Now the first condition is we need to validate the element at mid position whether it is a peak element or not. If it is a peak element then return its index. One more thing if you are comparing with left neighbor then make sure that you are also validating starting of the array. I mean does the mid position is equal to start of the array or not? If mid double equal to 0 or input array mid minus 1 less than or equal to input array mid. And similarly, while comparing with its right neighbor, make sure that you are validating n index. Mid double equal to length minus 1 or input array at mid index greater than equal to input array at mid plus 1. If these conditions are true, we got the peak element. Print the peak element. And return its index. Return mid. If mid pointer element is not a peak element, now let's decide on which side to move. We will compare with left neighbor first. Mid greater than 0 and input array mid minus 1 greater than input array of mid. So in this case, what we will do? 
we will adjust n position n pointer position n equal to mid minus 1 otherwise update start pointer position i mean we will continue searching on the right side so here else here start equal to mid plus 1 i have already added main method to save some time i'll just uncomment this piece of code here we have two input arrays we will make a call to find peak element function by pausing these input arrays let's run here is the output which is as expected thanks for watching please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel if you are not thank you